Hey guys, this is Ben from Ben's RPG Pile, and today we're going to talk about my must-haves for packing for Gen Con. Uh, so we're going to start with, uh, you're going to do the usuals, right? you got to have your, um, uh, your badge and your plane tickets, uh, your hotel receipt. Um, make sure you bring your receipts to the, your hotel. Uh, you'd be surprised how bad that can go. Have your receipt for your Gen Con badge. Um, have your event tickets. Uh, I throw those all up in a little skinny binder and I take that with me. Um, next you're going to want to uh, make sure you have some energy, right? You're going to want to uh, uh, bring some energy along, right? Uh, five hour energies, uh, zizaz, um, these are all things that uh, uh, keep you awake because uh, you're not going to get much sleep. I encourage you to get some sleep. We try to get at least five hours each night. but. Um, these are real handy because you just mix them with water. Uh, five hours, these extra th strength ones will make you want to paint a house. Um, these, are, uh, these are great too, but uh, bringing these is much cheaper than buying Diet Cokes at four fifty dollars a pop uh, at Gen Con. And plus, you don't have to stand in line, right? Or get up from a table and go get them. So, uh, energy drinks are always a great thing. Um, you certainly don't want to forget about your Tums, right? Your Tums, your aspirin. Um, uh, you're going to do a lot of bad things to your body in terms of food and eating and that and uh, having some Tums and some aspirin with you uh, uh, just make things a little more bearable sometimes. So uh, Maybe not this big though, huh? Um, after that, uh, you're going to want to make sure you have your money, right? You want to have, um, uh, you're, you know, you're going to have some credit cards, you're going to have some cash, you need to have more cash than usual and I usually slip it in like a little holder. Uh, like this under my shirt so that I don't get uh, pickpocketed, but um, uh, besides that, uh, quarters. And I know what you're going to say, quarters? Who the heck cares about quarters? Quarters uh, are used for the lockers at Gen Con outside the convention hall, and um, uh, quarters are hard to get at Gen Con, so um, we pack them. The thing is, don't try to take these through security very, very bad. Uh, you're going to want to pack these away or tell the security guys, hey, i got a roll of quarters, just a heads up. Uh, I learned that the hard way. Uh, I won't explain why, but you can look it up. Uh, next, we're going to talk about uh, containers, right? So um, I highly recommend uh, some boxes, right? This is a, a, a magic box, right, for your deck cards. Uh, these are awesome. You buy lots of little stuff at Gen Con, and um, these boxes make carrying the stuff on the way home super easy, and they protect what you just uh, bought. So um, I usually throw these little... Uh, things in there, these little um, uh, foam things in there protect my looser stuff, but you know, you're going to buy uh, miniatures, uh, metal miniatures and everything, and uh, you got to protect those things. You can't just throw those in your suitcase and hope they don't get broken or chipped. If you have one of these deck boxes, which are nearly impenetrable, um, and then you throw some of these things in there, you'll protect those new minis you've probably just paid a lot of money for. Okay. Um, also, film cases. Believe it or not, uh, uh, you you are missing the Harbinger um, uh, Mini, the old uh, uh, Medusa, right? So you buy her and you spend uh, 50, 60 bucks buying her. But again, you don't want to throw that in your suitcase and have it bend, right? So one year I saw these guys and they were selling film cases. I'm like, why are they selling film cases? There's a film case, like so. Uh, and here's why. You just take that Mini. Drop him in, put your case on. Now he's not going to bend, he's not going to get stepped on, and then you put that inside this box, right? That's a handy, handy way to protect your mini. So um, they were selling them for like five bucks a piece. It was brilliant. Uh, so I made sure that, of course, I bought some because I was desperate, but uh, I made sure I got some different ones uh, going on so that I would protect my stuff. Um, now we got a journal, right? Very important. Remember the old uh, Game Mastery Paizo journal? I love these things. Uh, I've taken notes through all my Gen Cons all through the years. All sorts of little stuff, but hey, that's a great idea. I need to remember that for last year. Uh, next year, I got stuff in terms of, hey, what did I forget to pack? Hey, what were some cool boosts I used? Um, uh, this, this means the world to me, so I highly recommend you get a small journal and take that with you. Okay? Then we got... Um, uh, your, here we go, foot powder, right? I bet that's pretty gross. Did, did it just get disgusting? Um, here's the thing on foot powder. 
you are going to walk a tremendous amount of distance, probably more in four days than you may walk in the entire year. Okay? This foot powder saves you. You put this in your sock or on your feet when you wake up in the morning before you guys head out to the hall. And um, this keeps your feet from sweating. Uh, and uh, when you do that, uh, because you're walking around so much, your feet are going to sweat like crazy. If you have foot powder on there, this saves your feet. Um, keeps them dry. Uh, it just, I can only, it's like five bucks too. Uh, grab, a, grab a bottle. And you, uh, other people will try to use it once they see uh, what you're doing. But um, I recommend the old foot powder. Uh, certainly, you're going to want to have a player's handbook, right? I usually only take one book with me, and this is the one I usually take. Um, I usually don't DM. I'm lucky. Jeff's a great DM. He takes care of all that for us. But I hate books are heavy, and you're going to probably buy some books there. So I only take one book, and that's the player's handbook. Okay. Uh, after the player's handbook, um, uh, oh dice! You're going to take some dice, right? I recommend you only take one thing of dice, right? You take a handful of dice. Oh, Sixteen. Um, buy a set there. It's kind of fun. The, the Gen Con has their limited edition set every year, which is great. And then uh, maybe you'll buy one special set. I only bring these dice uh, to trade with uh, guys I meet with at the ta game table. So when I meet a cool bunch of guys at the table, I say, hey, let's swap a 20. And um, so I bring some dice to swap 20s with them. And then I'm like, oh, I got that one from Beezer last time I was at Gen Con. So it's kind of cool to... Uh, share dice, but don't bring too many dice because again, you want to travel light on the way there because you're going to need all the room on the way back. Okay. Next thing we can talk about is business cards, right? Um, <laughs> not the fanciest of cards, right? But um, you're going to uh, want to make a card that has all your social media contact info on it. So you're going to want to have your Twitter ID, your email address, um, maybe a cell phone, all sorts of stuff, and. Uh, when you meet guys who you want to be pals with because you had such a good time gaming with them, that's one of the great things about Gen Con, right? Meeting new people. It's super cool when you can just pull out one of your cards. You can make these at a Staples for uh, like 12 bucks, but um, just hand them one of your cards and say, here you go, talk to me online. And then they've got all your info and um, I hate trying to find a pen or write on my hand. I always lose everybody's contact info and that's a bummer. So make some business cards uh, and take them with you. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's kind of about everything, guys. There's, uh, uh, oh, also on containers, sorry, before we get, here's the big old container. I probably won't even get it all in the shot. But um, uh, these are Rubbermaid containers. Um, you're going to want to take these. I have one suitcase. It's literally just about empty. And I put these in my suitcase, and I put these boxes in those, right? And then I, um, I, my, I really don't have anything in there, but I, I do that because I'm going to carry a lot of stuff back. And yeah, I, I know checking a bag is expensive, but there's no way I'm shipping some of my priceless Gen Con stuff. So I usually throw two or three of these in my suitcase, and then that way I can fill them up on the way back nice and tight. Okay? And the last thing I thought I'd show you is the, um, the old food situation. So I always buy a... I bring some cups and some spoons, and then I bring some granola. All right, there's my granola. And what I do is I pour the granola into the cup and then I buy a little single size serving of milk um, while I'm there and I pour this in and I mix it up and there's bracket gun. So what do I look for when I go to Gen Con? That's going to be part two of our uh, 2010 Gen Con uh, video series here on our YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to throw my Twitter icon up. It'll have that little Gen Con symbol. I hope to see you there. Um, be sure to tweet me. I'd love to shake your hand. I've talked to so many on the forum. So. Uh, it'd be great to meet you. So there you go. That's the uh, Gen Con 2010 must-have packing tips. Thanks, guys.